Carrie Katona has been pictured handing over three-year-old daughter Dylan Jorge to ex-husband George K. in the presence of police. Former Atomic Kitten singer Carrie, 37, was seen chatting to officers outside the home of Real Housewives of Cheshire star Apica Pixton, where she is currently staying. The mum of five took hold of Dylan's hand before Dad George carried their daughter off into his car along with a leopard print suitcase. Carrie and George, who were married for three years, announced their separation this summer. TV personality Carrie had told the Sunday People she was living in constant fear of George and that her children had begged her to leave him after witnessing their volatile romance, accusations he has strongly denied. In November Carrie was served divorce papers by her estranged husband P.I.D., marking her third failed marriage. George's representative sent a statement to the Mirror, which read, George K. has served a divorce petition upon Carrie Katona to end their six-year relationship. His absolute priority is the well-being of their three-year-old daughter Dylan Jorge and his stepchildren Heidi and Max. Happily all the children are spending time with George during this difficult period. George is conscious of Carrie's media profile and understands that there may be wider interest in this latest sad development. He is also aware that much of the couple's marriage and its subsequent breakdown has been carried out in the public sphere, but wishes to draw a line under that today, particularly in the interests of all the children, who are completely innocent parties in this unfortunate situation. He sincerely hopes that this difficult process will be concluded solely through legal channels and in as dignified a manner as possible. In July Mum of Five Carrie tearfully opened up to the Sunday People about her split with George, insisting she lived in constant fear of him and that her children had begged her to leave him after witnessing their volatile romance. She said, I feel like the worst mother in the world and I will never forgive myself. Carrie added, I sat my Molly and Lily down because they're older and all I could do is profusely apologize to them. I said to the girls, I'm so sorry I've let this go on for so long. They said, why are you standing for this? Just leave him. But George hit back at claims he was abusive, insisting he suffered physical violence at the hands of Carrie. Speaking to the Daily Star, George alleged that he was forced to call the police after Carrie hit him with a glass tumbler and said he was left with a lump on his head and a black eye. George also called Carrie an alcoholic and insisted her boozing was out of control. Carrie's drinking is out of control, she is an alcoholic and needs to get help, he said. Carrie defended herself, with her rap giving a statement to The Sun which read, Carrie utterly refutes this nonsensical story, 
which is the complete opposite of the true situation. The Atomic Kitten singer who was previously married to former Westlife singer Brian McFadden, 37, and taxi driver Mark Croft, 45, admitted that when she finds love she falls hard. When Brian left me I felt like a failure as a wife and a mum, Carrie said. My dream was not to be rich or famous. It was to have a husband and kids, everybody wants that fairy tale happy ending. And being an only child who had three sets of foster parents I so desperately wanted that for them. Following their split last summer, Carrie moved on and dated Scottish comedian James English, although they've now called time on their short-lived romance. The pair went public with their relationship in September when they were spotted at the airport sharing a kiss. During an appearance on a Scottish late-night chat show hosted by Ewan Cameron, James reportedly joked he was just using Carrie for fame. She's more famous than me. I'm living on the back of her. I'm just using her just now to get somewhere, he reportedly told the host. Last month Carrie posted a message suggesting she was single once again. I'm in a relationship with me. I make me happy and will never leave me, it read. Single is good when you like yourself and don't, sick, count on anyone else for your happiness. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.